0.3, 0 0.4, we're asked to find the delta. So we're given a function, a point, and an epsilon. We're asked to find the delta that corresponds to it uh, that's guaranteed to exist by the definition of continuity. Uh, now, this, can seem, this is a little bit of a tough concept to grasp at first, so it's easiest to see just an actual example of finding you know, a concrete delta. The idea is that we want to find, uh, or we want to get the function g of x within um, epsilon, so within, that we want the value of g of x to be within 0 0.04 of the point g of 0. So we want them to be you know, as close as possible, and we want to know if we pick a point close enough to 0, we'll, can we guarantee this, that this will exist? So what we want, um, so we want the distance between g of x and g of 0. Now I'm using absolute value signs here because I don't want to be worried about, um, about the sign here. I want the distance to be positive. So we want the distance between our output values to be close. Um, in other words, we want it to be less than epsilon, which in this case we're given as 0 0.04. So now we want to say, we want to ask the question, well, if I pick x close enough to 0, will that happen? Well, the answer is yes, because the function x squared plus 4 is continuous. But we want to know how close do we have to go to it? Do we have to go to 0 for that to happen? So let's just play, play around with this. So if this is true, that is going to mean that x squared plus 4 minus g of 0, which is just 4, has to be less than 0 0.04. So this is the same thing as saying absolute value of x squared is less than point, 0 0.04. But x squared is always positive, so there's really no need for these absolute value signs anymore. So we know that now that if x squared is less than point zero four, that the distance between g of x and g of 0 is going to be less than point zero four. So when does this happen? Well, this happens precisely when x is in the following interval. Well, x can be greater than negative square root 0 0.04, or it could be less than 0 0.04. So if x is in this interval here, we know that this original uh, line here will be true. Well, this is just says let's let delta equal the square root of 0.04. So now we know that if the distance from 0 to uh, x is less than delta, or you know, within this interval here, then the distance between our output values will be less than epsilon.